move. And a turnover. Keep the ball in the middle of the floor. The Duke D with a block and then the push. And they make the extra pass. You got to be kidding me. We saw Oregon State knock off Notre Dame the other day. What, they have 25, 26, 26 turnovers? Can Duke do the same? They got 22 turnovers today, and they're right there in it. We need something going to the basket. Richardson, pull up. Long rebound to Duke. And a turnover. Duke has all four timeouts. They have not used any timeouts. You could have used one right there. They might want to use one to make sure they get a good shot the next possession here if they can. Edwards, big two. How about stepping up and making a shot? How about wanting the ball when the game's on the line? They had missed six shots in a row prior to that. Gives them a little more space. Under a minute to go. Brown. Timeout, Duke, before they get the ball in bounds. Carol Lawson wants to set her D. Back to a two possession game. You got to give it to the Duke kids, right? They're hanging in there. Edwards drives Kennedy Brown back, takes a jumper from the nail. And then Kennedy Brown inside her second basket of the game. Let's send it over to Angel. I was just in that last Duke huddle, and that is a team that believes that they still have time to win this ball game. Carol Lawson looked at them and said, we got here because of our defense. Let's win it that way. We need stops and then go. Believe that you can do it. And you saw them in the last couple of possessions offensively. Can they continue to get stops on defense, though? Well, the leadership of this experienced UConn backcourt of Beckers and Mule. Can they stay composed here under pressure? So Paige is inbounding it. She's probably going to get it right back. Arnold gets a up, jump ball. Held ball. Duke ball. Coach Oriama cannot believe it. I mean, that's a good play by Duke. He just said you're supposed to throw her the ball back, and yes. they couldn't get it back to her. Jackson back to Okanawa. Leaves it off for Donovan. Elevates. No good. Rebound Edwards. And a foul. That's not a bad foul. Stops the clock. Gives them a chance to set their D. Duke's not in the bonus. That's only the second team foul. That's the fourth personal on Kennedy Brown. UConn will call timeout to advance the ball. A five-point game. <laughs> crazy to think where it we once crazy. were. With Connecticut leading by 20. 39-19. 39-19. And Duke has just hung around. They're outscoring Connecticut here in the fourth quarter, 18-8. So there's the situation with the timeouts, the fouls to give. UConn has the arrow as well as the basketball. Well, I'm Duke. I'm telling the officials, I'm going for a hard trap and a steal. Do not anticipate that I want to foul immediately. I want to get a chance to make a play on the ball first. And if I'm UConn, I'm putting the ball in my best free throw shooter's hands, Paige Beckers. You Beckers got will be the inbounder here. You're going to pass it right back to her as soon as she steps in bounds. This is where Duke has used their athleticism to get back in the game with their, their speed and their quickness. Same play, same set, running the same thing. Mule's got to track it down in the backcourt. And now I would commit the foul because she's one on one. Here comes the double, and there's a foul. You turn her, and then you try to get the steal. That's a good job by Duke. You turn her, and then you get the steal. And if it doesn't happen, you got a foul. And that's a risky play throwing the ball in somebody's backcourt. 30 seconds to go. Still with fouls to give. Oh my 
my goodness, another hell ball, and Gino can't believe it that they're hanging on to it instead of passing it back to Page. Now the arrow will flip to Duke. You gotta get the ball. You fouled, that is the fourth. So the next one will get Connecticut to the line. I think Duke has managed it pretty well, trying to get a, make a play on the ball, right? Trying to get a steal, and they've tied him up. Now they have the possession now. If you don't get a steal right away, you got a foul. There's not enough time. Right back to Beckers, and she's fouled. Only two seconds went off the clock. But unfortunately for Duke, that's not who you want on the free throw no. line. Even though she's missed a couple times tonight, statistically, she's their best. She missed two in a row in the first half. 84% on the season. This one right here makes it, well, it's a two possession game anyway. Duke's gonna have to score twice. This makes it a three possession. Paige Beckers, 23 points. And now it's, 52 to 45. Let's take a look at tonight's Capital One rewarding performance. And it is Beckers. I mean, Beckers moving without the ball. You go underneath. She goes to the dribble handoff. She's going to make you pay. She's going to stick that triple. That's her second three. And then watch this. Sets up the back door. Nico Mule dribbles right at her defender. And that's the indicator to go back door, which she does so nicely. Capital One, rewarding performance. We're gonna give it to Paige Beckers, 23 points on 21 shots. Her sixth consecutive 20-point game, but she's had a lot of them this year, 25 of them uh, before tonight. Duke's gotta hurry. Brown, stripped away by Beckers. Duke will keep it here, 13 seconds to go. You can get a quick two right here under the basket. Jackson launches short. Beckers. And a foul. And that's going to be on Kennedy Brown, and that'll get Aaliyah Edwards to the free throw line with six seconds to go. And now the Husky fans are on their feet, sensing that they are headed back to the Elite Eight. And a date with USC. Usually I say in a physical contest, it's a double ice bath game, but I think you and I are gonna need a double ice bath <laughs> after this one. <laughs> double something. <laughs> but it, uh, it came down to a tight one at the finish, at least after uh, neither side could shoot it particularly well today. But you know what, for Connecticut, as it stands, put this one in the rear view mirror and get ready to face the Pac-12 champions. You know, the most important thing Connecticut needs to do next is rest. More important than the reps. Yep. When you're short on numbers. Beckers is gonna close it out here with 24 points tonight for Connecticut. And the stage is set for an epic Monday night on ESPN in the Elite Eight. LSU and Angel Reese against Iowa and Caitlin Clark. The first game Monday night and in the nightcap, Juju Watkins at USC against Paige Beckers in UConn. Well, that's the matchup I was hoping for in terms of star power around our game to elevate the game. I'm looking forward to that one, Beth. 53 to 45 the final, and the Huskies survive and advance. They force 23 turnovers.